YouTubers, Pastor Bob, you guys like my shirt? My friend Stephanie got this for me. I love it. It matches my Jeep. But anyway, listen, I want to talk to you today about dialogue or declaration. And uh, I was going through the book of Acts, and every time I get to this scripture, as you guys well know, you've, you've heard me preach on this in different variations probably ten times, and I'm going to throw another variation in today. But it's found in Acts 17, 22 to 23, one of my most favorite scriptures. And this is what Paul says. It says, Then Paul stood in the midst of Mars Hill and said, Ye men of Athens, I perceive that in all things you are way too superstitious. For as I passed by and beheld your devotions, I found an altar with this inscription, To the unknown God, whom therefore ye ignorantly worship, him I declare unto you. This is what I want you to notice, and this is what we're going to talk about today in this scripture. Paul didn't say, let's have a discussion. Let's talk about this unknown God. You guys give me your ideas, I'll give you my ideas. So let's have a discussion. No, it's not what Paul said. Paul said, Him I declare unto you. Paul knew exactly what he was talking about. And he had a declaration to make to these men of Athens. There wasn't going to be any, any debate. He didn't want to hear their input. He simply had a declaration he was going to make to them. The word declara declaration, this is what it means. An act of declaring. To make an announcement. You never want to talk about God in a debate, in a discussion. When you're talking about to somebody that doesn't know God or is confused, you want to make declarations. You want to make announcements. You don't want to have discussions. When I talk to Jehovah's Witnesses or Mormons, when they come up and knock on my door or if I'm sitting out in my garage and they happen to come by, I don't bring them up and have a discussion with them. I always invite them up and I say, I'd like to tell you something. And then I go to the Bible and I prove from the Scripture, two Scriptures, that's all I use for either one of them, to declare that Jesus Christ is God. He is not a created being. And the first one I take them to, and I don't even have them open their Bible. I got my Bible. And I say, look, look at this, look at this Scripture. And it says, For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. I say, you know, that's talking about Jesus. And it calls him, Isaiah calls Jesus, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father. I just tell them that. I show them. And then I take them to 1 John 1 to 4. And I say, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by Him, and without Him was not anything made that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. And I say it says right there that Jesus Christ is the creator of all things. That's it. I say you go home and you think about those two scriptures. Goodbye. Goodbye. Sidewalks right there. See you later. No debate. No discussion. I simply declare unto them the truth. And then as soon as they walk away, I pray to, for them. I pray, Lord, open their eyes to the Scriptures. That's all I do.
It's done. That's it. If you have dialogue and discussion, if you exchange ideas, it always leads to compromise. And these people want to get you into a debate or a discussion that will allow you to compromise. Because number one, I'll tell you, Mormons especially, the first thing that Mormons want you to do is to admit to them that they're Christians too. That's the first thing they want to they want to do. They want you to say, yes, we're both Christians, which they don't have the same Jesus I have. But that's the first thing they want to do. Jehovah's Witness, they want you to admit that we all serve the same God, Jehovah. So listen, you discuss things that you're not sure about. Like, like you and I, fellow believers, we can discuss things. We can discuss the end of time. We can discuss how you do things, how you live for God. We can discuss things because we already agree. In the virgin birth, Jesus died on the cross for your sins, rose again. You're saved by faith and faith alone. We agree on those things. But anybody that doesn't agree on those things, you declare to them, you don't discuss. In other words, what you declare, you discuss all the secondary things, but you declare truth. You don't discuss truth. You declare truth. Because there's no discussion when it comes to truth. Truth is truth. Anyway, I just want to give you something to think about. I hope that God will bless each and every one of you on the other side of this screen. Hey, what do you guys think about my little, uh, my little animations that I've been uh, posting on Wednesday? I got quite a few of them. I think I got about 40 of them. And there's a playlist on both channels uh, for those animations. But uh, both websites that I used to build them on, they're both gone now. But uh, anyway, they're kind of cool, so that's what I'm going to put out every Wednesday for probably the next year. So anyway, you guys have a blessed, blessed day, and I'll uh, maybe I'll post again Sunday. Anyway, heaven or hell, you choose. Just remember, once you take your last breath, it's a done deal.